Good day, good day! How the hook are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got something for you today. We got a little, well, maybe you recognize these little buggers, huh? Let's take a look. Let's see. Let's see. Look at, uh, let's see what my best of my best looks like. Maybe. <laughs> what you're looking at is a Corgi. 143rd scale Corgi number 482. The Range Rover Ambulance or the Range Rover Police Vigilant. Now this is a Whiz Wheels uh, edition of the Corgi Toys, Vigilant Range Rover. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now these came out uh, UK, um, what, 1974 to 1977. Yeah. And um, basically white with a couple of trim uh, packages on it, you know, decals big honking stickers one on the hood there and they did have um, uh, application and there's another one that I've got that we'll look at that has a little bit different top to it but this is the ambulance and uh, whoa, did you guys get scared did you, did you see that in there what what the heck I got scared there for a little bit <laughs> Jeez balls there's a face looking at me <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, produced by Corgi, it's a whiz wheel. Uh, they're uh, <laughs> 1974 to 1977. They pretty much were all the same here. Uh, the the uh, number 482. Uh, there is some a little bit of variations. Uh, I think uh, the UK had one uh, about the same time with a dark blue stripe which that I believe is dark blue, I'm, I'm not sure. And then I think there was a white and orange one as well. So uh, no opening doors on the sides, pretty nice uh, details there. It's got the uh, gas can, uh, gas filler indent there with the lid. Like I say, there's a couple of different types of tops and we'll take a look at that. But this is the ambulance version, two nice, uh, Gumballs, blue gumballs on top, says ambulance here with the red cross. Big red cross on the uh, hood of the car. Numbered plate down below, the, the uh, regular Range Rover um, front end to it. Now this one's got the ambulance on that uh, uh, extended headroom thing there. Uh, so very nice, no color uh, added. Uh, Except for, I think, well, I think this one, somebody added some color. Well, maybe not. They're both like that. Okay. Yeah, I think they painted the rear tail, light, tail lights, but the front are part of the uh, the base. You know, it comes up through there, and that the grill is part of the interior or different piece. So, uh, yeah, just a regular, I call those office stickers that stuck right on there and I you know you can get those right off of eBay you can even purchase those again but uh, clam clam hood with the vents in there very nice details there you know all right so anyway we got to get to that guy inside so it did have an opening feature in the back this is pretty much a closed cabin uh, uh, scenario except for the back does open just like a regular Range Rover the uh, top tailgate part no window in that but it does have a bottom tailgate part and that comes out and <laughs> here we go this is oh there he is there's a dude inside there yeah so red interior i don't know if we'll be able to focus on that but it did have a red interior it is a uh right hooker there and you can see all the uh stuff in there kind of yeah Pretty neat stuff in there. So it tricked that camera to look in there for us. This one's got pretty clouded windows. Eh? But now this one, this one you can see, it does have um, the like uh, privacy type glass to it. 
Uh, there's a tab there, but that's for the inside insulation. That doesn't work up or down. Now this one does have uh, glass to it. Uh, this one must have just, uh, the glass must have broke out of it. Yeah, that one's, uh, but this one's got glass. There you go, it's supposed to have glass on it, folks. Yeah, this one's a, a different model here. A, a little bit chipped up on there. Um, I think I kept the uh, guy with that one because that's uh, the dude, that's the one it came with. Now these I bought all on eBay. There's no way I'd find such a thing like this uh, in the wild around here, um, you know, mid Wisconsin, but, uh, plastic wheels, metal base, metal body. I do believe that back hatch is plastic though. Yeah, I, I believe so. Maybe that, no, that is metal with, uh, with just a little plastic window in there. Now I can't get the thing open, but the glass in this one's a little bit better, but that dude just fits in there. And that's just a little, <laughs> That don't scare you in the morning. Let's get a close up of this guy. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, he ain't a look. He don't be looking too good, does he? Cheese balls. Get that guy some. Uh, get him a beer and a hamburger and some cheese balls, right? Oh yeah. Well, it's a little. Uh, um, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's not plastic. It's that rubbery plastic. You know, it's kind of flexible. Uh, but anyway, he's on a little stretcher and I just, I just keep him with the truck that I got him with. Uh, and he came with this other one. Now I did find on my research, um, there was a guy, there is a place, um, oh, what are they called? Oh, I don't even remember. I take a look at my notes here real quick. Um, there is a place that, uh, does, oh man, I, now, now that I mentioned, I gotta find it. Um that does um, give you idea of uh, pricing on these. And you know what, I can't find it. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, it's a core, I think it's a, like a Corgi website, I believe, that can kind of tell you what um, kind of the value is on these. And why, why can't I find that uh, information right off here, huh? Man, that just kind of cracks me up. But anyway, uh, that had a, um, a, uh, we're going to take a look at the next one here. It had kind of a rating system on uh, what these go for. And um, wow, this one really got dirty, dirty in the windows there. But it's got the window on the back window there. And that's something. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, this one, so, I'm so sorry I don't have the website. It wasn't that hard to Google and find. Um, but anyway, they go back to, uh, 2012 all the way up to pretty much current day. And they were saying this, um, um, not really an auction house, but it kind of gave a tally on what the prices were going. So anyway, 2012 to 2016, these were running around 30 to $35. All right. And that, that was in good to fair condition. Um, probably something like this, if not better. And then 2016 to 2019, they kind of took a little hike. Uh, and that was, uh, with the, uh, the, the, with the patient too, you know, you got to have the patient guy with them. And, uh, so they took a little hike and they were 45 bucks on up. So they did, uh, you know, go up a little bit in price over the day. And, you know, I think like any other, uh, toy, you know, obviously the better the condition in the box and the older they get, the more valuable they'll become. So there you go. So here it is, folks. This is the Corgi number 482. And there's many more uh, Range Rover Police Vigilant. Our amp now it's a, it says ambulance. I don't know why I keep saying police, but this is the ambulance. Vigilant is what's on the bottom there. And, uh, you know, the patent, patent appointment number there. So yeah, made in Great Britain. So there you go, Corgi for today on uh, what our model highlight is on the Corgi number 482, the Range Rover Vigilant. And, and the dude, don't forget the dude. Red interior, metal on metal, plastic wheels, 
clear windows. I like that that privacy glass there with the uh, bubble top. And this has got the larger um, roof conversion kit on it to make it an ambulance. So there you go. Thank you very much for joining me, your friend Dano. Come over to Facebook. Make sure you give me a thumbs up too. <laughs> Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come on over to Facebook. Join me there. And Instagram, Roverland Channel. And uh, show me what you got. What kind of better? What kind of better condition do you got <laughs> than the, your Corgi 482s that you got, huh? All right, gonna call it a video. Thanks for joining me. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.